Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode of Tekken News. First up, well known troublemaker Fergus is at it again, antagonizing the Christie players here with his incredibly disrespectful video. Just play Eddie instead. And here we just see some of the reactions some of those uh, fans had to Fergus's incredibly hateful video. Um, if I was Fergus, I'd be very worried for my physical well being right now. But for the Christie players, I'd be worried about something else entirely. Because after a particularly volatile thread, here we can see Michael Murray appearing with quite a cryptic message. Does this mean Christie's fate is already sealed? And moving on to the next story, Ni nee arrived in Pakistan earlier this week and here we can see his incredibly warm welcome. Uh, a great moment right now for the second FGC, one of the greatest legends to ever play this game, touching down in one of the greatest regions to ever play this game. Ni nee is scheduled to play a lot of first attempts and first fives with some of the top talent uh, in the country. His first day was already complete yesterday and the only person to beat him in a set was Hero Manic in a Steve Mirror match. Quite an impressive feat. Uh, moving on, he's already played Arsen Ash and is scheduled to play other players like Atif Butt, Fate Khan and even Mr. Taxi will be making the journey down to Pakistan to play the legend Ni. And for our final story of the day, the Tekken World Tour finals are only a mere week away and an extra $50,000 has been added to the prize pool courtesy of KOF All Star. This is truly welcome news and I'm sure Tekken players and fans can all get behind this and I'm sure we all hope for this level of support to continue for Tekken Esports in the future. That's going to be all from me, thank you for checking out Tekken News and I'll catch you all in the next edition. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Tekken News. First off, popular Tekken content creator, the main man Sweet, has landed himself in hot water today after uploading a set between the John and Ni. Nee. It seems Manis Gaming took issue with the main man uploading the set without their permission and they asked him to take it down. The main man most likely believed that the content was fair use as he was commentating over it but failed to receive permission. The main man has yet to comment on the situation and this does mean that Manix Gaming will be taking further measures. And on to our next story and this one involves an earth shattering revelation. After doing a bit of digging, this reporter found that some of these accounts, well known for being fans of Christie, may not be who they say they are. In fact, this reporter has confirmed that this account, Chantel Charcoal, lover of charcoal is 100% a fake account. After doing some research I found the origin of the image and the true identity behind this woman. Um, details have been blurred out to protect her privacy. Furthermore, even Sonny's account, the most violent of the Christie stands, shows similarly suspicious behaviour. And this does make one ask, how far did these lies spread? Are any? of these Christie Stan accounts real? And if so, who is the mastermind behind it all? And for the, for the last thing I'm going to message, um, I'm going to mention on this day, I'm going to drop this for a second. Um, I, I have to switch this up because um, so well known, a prominent figure in the American FGC and um, the Tekken FGC in general, Blood Talon, um, recently passed away. And the news has the news came out um, very recently, and it is something that has sort of shaken the Tekken world, especially for me. Um, this is something very personal to me. Um, he was one of the first ever warring players I ever watched. Um, part of the reason I wanted to get into the game was actually watching him play. So I may not even be doing this now if it wasn't for him. Um, I certainly wouldn't be the player I am today without him. And you can just see from the reaction, the reaction from multiple people, how much this has shaken them. Um, he was a very, very important person to a lot of people. And for someone to to leave us, especially so young, is 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 100% a tragedy. Um, and I think Blackbeard put it best. Um, he said, amidst all this Christy bullshit and more unnecessary dumb shit, we lost a great person and player. If people can come together making meaningless noise here then please put the same effort into praying for him and wishing his family and close, close friends strength and patience. I couldn't agree with what he said there more. 
all this other stuff, you know, everything else, even the stuff at the beginning of this video, that doesn't matter. Um, and I'm glad that so many people have come together to share beautiful moments with him uh, involved and share their memories of him as well. Um, and I'm very grateful for also Alicia. Um, she will be running um, online events, um, just giving back in his honor. So please pay attention to that. And that's going to be all um, from this one. Thank you for watching this video and rest in peace to Blood Talon. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode of Tekken News. Our first story, an update on the main man Sui and Maniac's gaming debacle. It seems that the pressure applied was enough to make the main man actually private the video. If you go to his channel it's no longer there. However, that does make one think, what made them apply such pressure in the first place? An astounding revelation from King J, a prominent member of the FGC, shows that Maniacs Gaming were asking for upwards of 200 US dollars to upload an analysis video of the sacred set between the John and Ni. Nee. It seems that this split the community down the middle. There were those attacking the Maniacs Gaming owner, labelling him as greedy and inconsiderate and those who took his side because, at the end of the day, it's his content, therefore his rules. My opinion on the matter? Well, that's not important. After this revelation, Maniacs Gaming has issued an apology and blamed his tiredness for his poor decision making. The main man and King J have yet to comment further. On to our next story, we're moving on to the Tekken World Tour Finals in only a few days. And as we look forward to seeing some familiar faces like me, Anakin and Super Kuma, there is one familiar face we will not be seeing at the finals. Yesterday, Eris confirmed that there was an issue with his flight and he decided it was best not to travel to Thailand. Though I'm sure we can all respect his decision, I for one will be very sad to miss the very iconic Eris and Markman reaction to whatever is unveiled at the final. But that does make me excited to see who will be seeing more on the mic. Personally, I hope to see more of Tasty Steve and Spag. And for our last story of the day, it seems that Fergus has unfortunately made his flight and we will be seeing him at the LCQ. A tragedy for all. Thank you all for watching this episode of Tekken News and I hope you all join me this weekend on my stream where we tune into all of the Tekken World Tour final action together. Goodbye and God bless.